Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments are for PL, and uh, I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and in your situation, you want to take the TOEFL at the end of 2014, right? And you're taking an exam prep course, but the problem is in the listening and the writing section. So as you say, uh, as practicing, I'm time-like in the actual test, so I really find it difficult for these two sections. I mean, for the integrated writing task, I'm only given one time to listen to the lecture and take notes, plus reading the 220 words on an academic passage while taking notes for solely three minutes. I'm having a hard time with understanding what the lecture or the passage is discussing because of such technical words. I'm afraid I won't do well on the exam. I can't score high. My friend recommended me to visit this site. She said it's useful, so hopefully I can get back your comments. Yes, and, and tell your friend thank you for uh, the referral. Uh, okay, in your situation, there's a few things that you're going to want to do here, and one of them is building your vocabulary. I think this is a great start. In the first section of my online course, uh, you will study and learn 1,700 college-level words. You will also see how to pronounce these words. You will do reading exercises, grammar exercises, listening exercises, learning the words in the vocabulary section of my course. So that's really one of your first steps is to improve your vocabulary. But that's not enough. I'm going to give you two suggestions right now of some things that I think are going to help you. And actually I'll give you three suggestions. And first of all, I'm going to recommend my 90-day TOEFL study guide for you. And I'll put a link uh, in the comments for you so you can see it. And I, I think there's three basic things you want to do between now and December, which is the end of this year. Uh, number one, try to set aside time each day or every other day. Try to set aside some time to read for about 45 minutes. Read newspapers, magazines, and books. The more you read, the easier it will be for you to concentrate on reading passages in English. Now you want to spend about 45 minutes at a time to read. Don't break it up. It's important that you get used to reading for this time frame and that helps you for the TOEFL. Number two, you want to practice listening for about 45 minutes also. You can do it every day or every other day. You can listen to news, documentary, science, maybe history programs, television programs. Now if you don't have television, you can go on the internet and I'll give you two good websites that you can use to begin practicing your listening. Number one is TED Talks. T-E-D, Talks. The other one is called NPR.org, NationalPublicRadio.org. So both of those websites will give you good listening practice. So if you begin practicing your reading and your listening on a daily basis or every other day, uh, it does help you concentrate better in the new language. But that's not enough. As, you do, as you're reading and listening to those materials, you want to get in the habit of note-taking. You note-take when you read the magazines or newspapers. You're also note-taking when you're listening to those lectures, those news, history, science, and documentary programs. And then using your notes, you can do two things. Using your notes, number one, you can write a summary of the reading and the listening passage. That's going to be very useful for your integrated writing. Number two, you can practice orally summarizing the information which helps you with the integrated speaking. So if you, if you just start doing that, trust me, even if you don't understand everything that you're doing, that's a good step in the right direction. So you have your reading and your listening practice on a regular basis. Now the third thing is, is go through my 90-day TOEFL study guide, and it does heavily emphasize vocabulary, so you can start studying vocabulary. Now, my 90-day study guide is also going to help you with your uh, vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar. I'll help you with your reading, your listening, your writing, and your speaking areas. 
I will help build your academic English language proficiency in those seven areas. So I think you can do it. And my comments are this, is once you get maybe two or three weeks before you're ready to take the TOEFL IBT, you can take one of my full length IBT practice tests in my course. Uh, it is an additional service, but it's a great service so you can go through and go through four and a half hours of testing and then you can see where you are and then you'll get some analysis of your weak points. You can make a few adjustments. You can study a few more lessons and then you'll be ready, hopefully, to take the TOEFL exam at the end of this year. So those are some of my comments right now for you, PL. All right, so just remember that that as you practice, you'll get better. And remember that my online course has, I have 40 different independent writing practice tests for you. I have 43 integrated writing practice tests. That's 83 total. You can start completing practice tests at my website. I'm telling you, if you complete writing practice tests on a regular basis, uh, it will get easier and easier for you. And pretty soon, you will be able to catch the main points in the reading. You will catch the main points points in the lecture and you will be able to show how the lecture and the reading passage are connected and you will be able to write you know 250 words showing what that relationship is so it's practice I'll tell you a quick story I had one of my students last year his name's Rasa and when I met him his TOEFL was 82 he went through my online TOEFL course in about two and a half months he went from 82 to 105. Now, I cannot guarantee you the exact same improvement. I'm just giving you a, a specific case study. Every student's different. We don't all improve exactly the same way. But he did go from 82 to 105. Now, what was remarkable is he went from 22 points on the writing to 29. Now, I noticed over the two and a half months that he used my course, he completed almost 30 independent and integrated writing practice tests. So he was getting feedback from me on a regular basis. He was able to make adjustments and he did improve his writing skills. So it took practice, it took work, but he was able to do it. And I think you can do it too. The good thing for you, PL, is you got a lot of time, right? You're planning ahead. You know you want to take the TOEFL at the end of the year. You're already trying to get ready. To me, that's, that's a very responsible person to think that far in advance. So I think you're in very good shape. It's just a matter of practicing, going through some lessons, completing some practice tests, uh, and making your improvements on a steady basis. Anyway, thank you very much, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.